it was about time that I mentioned in this November challenge a director like Fritz Lang. And I hope that I've picked up a movie that you will enjoy and that it's quite representative of the impact and influence that this European director had in cinema. I'm talking about The Big Hit released in 1953, produced at Columbia, and obviously directed by Fritz Lang. Get rid of him. Let's go, mister. What's your pitch, Lucy? What is this information you have? You're under suspension. Well, you better check with Lagana first. He might not approve. I'll have your badge and gun, now. It's yours. Permanent. I ask for your gun, too. It doesn't belong to the department, it's mine. I'm warning you, officially, don't try to use it. True cinema pioneers wear eye patches. That is something that we established when we talked about High Sierra and Raoul Walsh. If there's also another exponent of being a cinema pioneer and having that particular ocular style or necessity, that was Fritz Lang. Born in Vienna, wounded in World War I, hence the eye patch. He started off first as a writer for a brief period and then transitioned into directing at the German film studio UFA. He completely revolutionized filmmaking with Metropolis released in 1927 and then he continued to shake things up a little bit more with another highly influential movie such as M. During those early years of his career as a filmmaker he established and developed characteristics that he would then bring to Hollywood and quite particularly to a genre or a style such as film noir, technical innovation, German expressionism, psychological conflict, and moral ambiguity. His contribution then to cinema, but more specifically to film noir, was huge. Titles like Scarlet Street, Ministry of Fear, Human Desire, While the City Sleeps, or The Big Hit are quite powerful examples of his capacity of conjugating his sharp expressionist background with you changing society and a general disillusioned feeling that was sweeping America after World War II. His style, if we can call it that, was known for being very stark, very concise and inscrutable. That's in terms of staging and mise-en-scene and out of all the movies he made in Hollywood which were again quite influential I think that The Big Heat as it has been pointed out quite often is one of his most representative most iconic work. The Big Heat is primarily a story about vengeance, police corruption, and even brutality, but also at its core has a beautiful love story. As it has been pointed out, Fritz Lang movies seldom depicted romantic or wholesome family portraits. He was again very skeptical about those dynamics, and that's something that comes across in his movies. He's always very much detached from romance or happy family portrait but in this movie is quite an exception for it has indeed a lovely view of a family couple that are truly in love with each other and who have a wonderful family and a wonderful relationship which then adds to the dramatism of the protagonist of this movie Dave Banyan played by Glenn Ford. In this case, a good, solid husband, father, and police sergeant who happens to come face to face with the police corruption that has an undetermined city by its throat. We see in this movie a heavier dose of violence. It's there to make a point, not only in a police context, but in many structures of society, which also makes a strong point about the lengths to which people are willing to go for money and how someone can lose face, literally, because of that. There's a quote by the character Devi Marsh, played 
again superbly by Gloria Graham who says I've been rich and I've been poor and believe me rich is better and that is something else that I'd like to point out about the big hit it's the killing dialogue that it has the movie was based on the Saturday Evening Post 1953's novel by William McGivern that was later adapted for the screen by Sidney Bohm. He was a screenwriter that we already mentioned also in the video dedicated to Union Station and both films have that characteristic hard-boiled talk and terrific one-liners also an exhilarating ending but I would say that the big heat is the amplified perfected version of that as far as performances go I have already mentioned Glenn Ford and Gloria Graham they are terrific here especially I'd say Glenn Ford who is quite often not credited I would say enough and I should say that if you have any doubts on what Glenn Ford can do as an actor I'd say watch the big hit because what he does here not just with dialogue and attitude but just with his eyes there's so much going on i think in my opinion this is one of his finest performances and to be honest he's an actor that i think that um, perhaps like many of the actors that we often discuss in film noirs it seems that they're not doing much yet there's an attitude a psychology that these actors i think bring to all those characters that made ultimately film noir what it is aside also from women who are definitely key talking about women in this movie aside from gloria graham we have also jocelyn brando marlon brando's older sister who plays glenn ford's wife she is so lovely she has a great part i'd say and i also love a couple of supporting actresses in this movie who played quite again relevant and pivotal roles and those actresses are Jeanette Nolan who plays the character of Mrs. Duncan and who is I'd say terrific in this movie also actress Edith Evanson whom I'm very fond of because she also appears in Union Station and in Rope and also Carolyn Jones in a very short brief part all these women have a very specific role in the life of glenn ford's character he is heavily influenced by his interactions with them and they are again essential in terms of the evolution of him during this movie and regarding male supporting actors i think we should point out lee marvin who is absolutely evil a little curiosity that i also love about the big hit is that there's a brief tribute i should say of gilda whose score and songs are quite iconic so there is a brief moment in this movie in which you might hear a tune that would definitely remind you of gilda so if you watch it as always with this movies just try to pay a lot of attention not only what you see but what you hear for that moment the big hit cinematographer was charles lang a man whom we haven't yet mentioned but who was also a very important cinematographer he was predominantly known for his command of black and white photography specifically romantic dramas of the 1930s such as a farewell to arms or angel he spent most of his career at paramount and he produced there some of the greatest cinematography that that studio has ever shown upon leaving paramount and with the advent of film noir he adapted to that harsher look and expressionist photography and realism that would become a norm for all these movies that's exactly what we find in the big heat so before november is over i highly encourage you that you go watch and enjoy the big hit all right that's all i have for you for today's video i hope once again that you enjoyed it and that you found it interesting if you have watched 
the big hit i would love to know your thoughts on it thank you so much for watching thank you so much for joining me in this november challenge thank you so much for sharing the love for classic movies as always take care stay safe and see you all tomorrow for another video bye